Hey guys, this is a flip through of CLE grade one reading. It's their reading comprehension program. Um, I'll just kind of, I'll do, I'll do this, this little kid's reader book first. Then I'll do the light unit flip through and then I'll do the teacher's guide. So if you want to skip through to something, there you go. Okay. So here I'm going to zoom in here. Nice hardback, not expensive. I think it's like $10. And then I think the teacher's guide was 15 and the workbooks are, I think, $3.20 each. Some things are like $3.80, $3.70. Okay. There. And you can pause it if you need to. I might not do an entire flip through, but just some of the pages. I'll pick like one story at a time that I do a complete flip through. So you can like pause it to kind of read it and see if you like the story. And I make these videos because I like them myself. It's hard when you spend a lot of money on curriculum and you're trying to make a decision and you, you know, you can't judge a book by its cover. You want to see the inside and I'm not going to the homeschool conventions. So I look through samples on websites and I look through uh, YouTube. So anyways, this website is, I think it's called clp.org. It's Christian Light Education or Christian Light Publication. It's real easy, you just go to shop curriculum, hit the grade you're shopping for, and then you click on which subject, and then there's samples for each thing that they sell. So it'll be like a sample of the inside of the teacher's guide, a sample of, um, you know, light units. Um, there's, it's very Christian, it's Mennonite based, and there's a lot of morals and things are teaching about that and Christianity and, Bible verse memorization. Um, the reading for grade one and grade two is similar to a language arts, in my opinion. They have spelling words in there. They're teaching phonics. So you don't even, I mean, the, the language arts that they have is great, but if you have something else that's just an English curriculum that you're doing, I think the reading could cover phonics and reading comprehension. So um, I definitely recommend, I think it's awesome. It's affordable. When you compare this to other curriculums, it's, it's much less expensive. And I think if you want to go even cheaper than this, Pathway Readers is the next step down. And their reading comprehension questions are just as good as this. I think their readers and their teacher's guide is just cheaper. There might not be as much in it as CLE, as far as the teacher's guide and the resources that's in there. But um, Pathway Readers, you can get it on milestonebooks.com. Their, their reading comprehension is pretty cool too because it, it'll be like, okay, at what point the story was such and such talked about? And it'll be like, what paragraph and what page? So it's, it's really good because it's really teaching them to understand like, what are you reading? Where is it? Why did you form that thought? Prove it, where was it in the page? And it really helps with their reading comprehension skills. So I think you can kind of get an idea of what this looks like. I'll just kind of skip through a little bit. That's that. You get five light units. 101, 102, 103, 104, 105. And I'm gonna actually flip through like almost all of them. So let me open this up. And then I'm gonna zoom in on it to try to like line it up good. Sorry. Trying to line this up so you can see it nice and clearly so there's they're teaching the phonics okay
So you see how they're teaching phonics, the way words sound, see? I won't go into like depth with everything, but I'm, this is meant to be a flip through, but I will point out, you see how long one lesson is. This is the beginning of the second lesson. So see, there is phonics all in here. Spelling type of words. They have the sight words and stuff. It's, it's similar to language arts curriculum. But you can see it's about three pages for a lesson. And the way they do this is they have kindergarten, they have kindergarten workbooks and they teach stuff in there. But I think their emphasis is more for grade one where you start the real stuff and the spelling and learning how to read, I mean. Um, so you can buy their kindergarten books that they have. Um, they also have the A through G books that are made by Rod and staff, and they sell that on their website as well. That's like really good for when they're little and they want to be cutting things out, gluing, little art projects, learning at the same time. So that's like a good start. Then the kindergarten could be the next start that you do or the next thing that you do. And this is their test right here. So you pull it out of the middle. See, that's, that's a test. So it's included. So you don't have to pay separate for tests or anything like that. Everything is included in this. In this, You get the teacher's guide, the light units, it has the quizzes and the tests, and then the reader. So anyways, so you would do their kindergarten if you want to. That's gonna be like some art and coloring and learning a little bit. But then what you go into is for grade one is when they really start everything heavy and you start their learning to read program. And I think like, five books in or something to the like five light units in you start I think the language arts or the reading so they're learning to read books teaches them to read and then you know once you start getting towards the last half of those books I think it's 10 light units when I say books I mean light units the last half you start to get into like really good reading lots of phonics um and then at some point, midway through learning to read, you, you're starting the language arts curriculum and the reading, and, and then it all kind of just complements each other along the way. Some people have said it's kind of long, so you could even start your child in the learning to read earlier and then not have so much pressure, and then you could just, um, reading too here, then you could like, maybe like kindergarten, you could start the learning to read if you want. And then as they're progressing and you're coming into first grade, then you could you just start the language arts and the reading and all that. I'm just trying to do this whole flip through so you can see what it looks like. And this is so similar to Abeka. Abeka starts later, or they start earlier. Sorry, I'm trying to concentrate on this here. Abeka starts early like they're starting to teach kids four letter words in pre-k four i don't think that's necessary but if you want to do it hey whatever works for you and your family some of my kids i think are going to be like yeah pre-k four teach me reading and then some of my other kids are like nope i'm not going to do it so i think it's going to depend on each child there we go so um i would say the same things are covered in grade one um, of Abeka and there's you know Abeka starting them early pre-k four and pre-k five they're officially teaching them how to read and then grade one is like continuing you know more phonics phonics rules phonic you know the blends and then um but by the end of grade one Abeka and CLE they're par like you're gonna learn the same exact information it's just a different a different theme it looks different it's a different way of being done um let's see here
So, um, if you were to compare this to a Becca, it's going to be a major price difference. With a Becca, you're, you're buying a teacher key, which is the answers to the student's workbook. You're buying the curriculum lesson plans for that subject or multiple subjects. You're buying, you know, flashcards. And, and I think the Becca flashcards are actually really helpful. Um, you can make your own flashcards though. If you get the uh, handbook for reading from a Becca, you can literally make all the same flashcards, the phonics charts, and use different words for the different blends to make flashcards. So you see how it's very much like language arts. They're teaching some of the exact same stuff that's in the language arts book. It's, it was really hard for me trying to figure out, do I buy everything for CLE or Rebecca for these younger grades? And I've got a good bit of both. And the way I look at it is I have five kiddos. So if one curriculum doesn't work for one kid, I've got another one. And um, I, I can just pull on that second one or whatever. Um, we might do a little of this, a little of that, blending the curriculums a bit. Um, I'll probably do a video soon of my daughter's grade five, what we've got. So um, I'm going to do another video of the language arts of grade one because there's no flip through and I kept looking and looking and I would have to do different searches to find someone maybe saying check out our curriculum this year and then inside of that was hidden was the CLE but it wasn't just like grade one language arts CLE that's what I was looking for I wanted to see it so that's why I'm doing this so please like it subscribe i'm gonna be doing a lot more flip throughs also um please feel free to leave a comment um i only do this page to help you guys i literally am only doing this because this is what i would have liked to see but nobody did it so i did it so please give me some feedback it'll encourage me to keep doing it I didn't need to buy this because my daughter has a Becca grade one and that's totally sufficient, but I do like the style of CLE. So I bought it and also we do road trips. So we three hole punch these and we go on the road trip. We'll put this in a binder and then while we're driving, the kids can do some homework or we can just bring the binder in and put it at a table and work on the road trip. I hope this video has helped because you're literally seeing all five light units. <laughs> Say something. No, I'm joking. Just kidding. Just kidding. And I'm going to show you the three hole punch too that I've got. Um, let me grab it.
This is the three hole punch. I'll show you how it works. So it looks like this. It was like 175 bucks, I think. So it can do like, I think 150 pages at once. So I push it up here and I just press down here to make sure it does it all equally. And then I kind of get it in place and then And then it goes in the binder for the road trip. So my other daughter, like she has the grade five BJU or yeah, she has grade four and grade five BJU or no, she has grade four and five BJU English reading. And I bought her the grade four CLE reading. So we took that on that one trip. So she almost finished that whole one on the trip. So. Okay. So back to the flip through, almost done, this, this thing. So now you know exactly what's in every light unit. And the nice thing is, let's just say you buy this for one kid and they're like, eh, I don't like it, which can happen. Um, the whole workbook is not a waste. It's not like, oh man, I spent all this money on the teacher key and lesson plans and flashcards and all these things. If you have another kid coming behind them, you could always just buy a couple more of these light units and then you're complete again for the next kid. So let's just say you use one of these workbooks and you don't like it. Just order another workbook and your next kid can start over and hopefully they'll like it. The other option is if you want to see if your kid likes it, just buy a workbook and give it to them and see if they like it. You know, like, you know, basically saying don't buy the whole curriculum or the whole subject kit. Okay, now I'm going to do the teacher's guide, which is like super awesome. They have so many resources in here. Okay. So it, it tells you everything, goals for reading, components for reading, how to use the teacher's guide, how to use the light units, evaluating reading skills, scoring and grading, how to teach this course, the importance of following directions, sounds and diatritical markings, daily schedules. So CLE is really big on the sounds and there's some things that they put emphasis on that you might not even use in daily life. I don't know. That's up to you to decide if you think I'm correct in that um, and see how they're, they're going into emphasis on like in each light unit, what they're doing. And you can see their scope and sequence on their website. And it'll tell you for grade one reading, this is what they're covering. So you know exactly what it's going to look like. And then appendixes where there's a lot of extra resources. You have CLE's theory of reading, reading scope and sequence, reading one index, study words, which you could actually just make that spelling words, scripture verse for each story, reading assessment, alternate light unit tests, so if they don't do at least an 80 or above on this, you have an alternate test you can use and then books for further reading. That's pretty cool. Goals for reading, components of reading one. Feel free to pause it if you just want to watch or read it better. Okay, how to use the teacher's guide, symbols in the teacher's guide, daily lesson plans. I love the way they teach and I love their teacher's guides. I'm not crazy about the Abeka curriculum lesson plans, which teaches you what to say, what to teach them for the day. And then their workbooks are like the seat work. So with this, it's very independent. Your child can just do this by themselves and you can kind of go through and help in some situations. I would say grade one, you should probably be very involved, but like grade two is a little bit more independent, but this is not something where you have to like take out all these different books and flashcards and all this stuff and tons of prep time. It's so easy. If you want like as minimal prep time as possible and a curriculum that teaches independence and, and gives the child the option for independence, then this is probably it. So here is their schedule. So you see um, LTR is learning to read. So week one and day one, they're going to do lesson 1011. So light unit 101 for learning to read and then one, you know, what? maybe I'll do a flip through of the learning to read. And then BI, what is that Bible? And then MA math. So they're literally showing you the child schedule. And then language arts on week 10, you would start language arts. 
And uh, where do you start reading? Hmm, I don't know. Where is that? Where would it be? I don't really know. Oh well, who cares? You can figure it out. All you gotta do is just look on the website and you'll figure it out. Um, so here's what one lesson looks like. And you can tell what the emphasis is on. Identify the schwa sound and symbol. Learn that any vowel can have the whatever E sound on what that is. Color a hidden picture made of the redirection, circle, answer, underline. Um, I would say they're cursive. Well, I won't get into that. That's not necessary. Okay, so you would get their phonics card number 30. Um, let me look for that really quick because I think I have it somewhere. Where could it be? Hmm. Oh, well, I don't know where it is. I'm trying to find it so you kind of see what it looks like. Should have probably had this done in advance, but oh well. Hmm. I don't know where it is. I put it in a uh, sheet protector. So let me see if I can find it. No, not there. Not there. Hang on. the language arts video with it and then y'all can see but they have uh their phonics cards and they're similar to a backup like almost identical to a backup and they're telling you now pull it out and i think you should probably have it for the language arts for sure because i think you're going to use it but i mean well, it can, i think it could come in handy is what i mean to say i'm still looking for it here man it's so annoying oh well now that I've wasted all that time. So, in learning to read, the student learned rules determining long and short vowels. He practiced marking words with a macron and a brief or breve. I don't know what that is. In reading one, he'll be reading words that are already marked. He will be interpreting pronunciation marks, one of which is the schwa sound. Or uh, This is a beginning step in using a dictionary. The schwa is a pronunciation symbol used by most dictionaries. The E sound is the most used vowel sound or language in many words. It is used by vowels other than you. Draw a line on the board pointing out that it is made like a backyard upside down E. This is not a letter. It is a sign that tells when a vowel has the a uh sound. This sign will help you read new words. Each of the five vowels makes this sound sometimes. So then here's their little light unit page and the answers will be in here. And it tells you. Reading 101, uh, this will language arts 1063, and then, oh, that's weird. I don't know why it's like that. Okay. I don't know what's that. I don't know. Maybe that's what it lines up with. I have no idea. You know what? Let's just see. Maybe I can learn something here too. So we have 106, 106, lesson three. Not sure what is in here that. Why they would write that, I don't know. I haven't done this yet, so I can't like teach you guys. I'm just, this is a flip through. <laughs> I don't know why it's saying language arts 1063, but anyways, moving on, you're learning with me. Okay, we will not use a breve or breve with you anymore. We will use a special sign instead. The upside down E called schwa sounds like short U say uh students will not be writing the upside down e but need to recognize the sign optional use phonics cards number 30 to teach students that the upside down e will now be used instead of uh any of the five vowels can make the upside down e sound you know what i'm not gonna read all this because this is way too much reading you can pause it and read it and um see how it goes so here you'll have like your board preparation they're going to be showing you certain blends and phonics things here. Um, 
so it's not a it's not a long lesson like it's totally doable I'll just show you a few of these pages and then we'll just move on and you can always pause it and look at it in more detail I it must line up with language arts 1066 this is probably where you'd be at so there is a schedule they have that's probably what that reflects So I think by this little flip through here, you'll be able to get an idea of what the teacher's guide looks like when it when it has to do with lesson lesson teaching. Okay, now I'm gonna go to the back. I'll show you the back, and then they do Bible verses also. So they're memorizing Bible verses here. Okay, so here is their. Let's see here. So here's the appendix, and you can just pause if you want to see something further. Scope and sequence, which you can see on their website. It just talks about what they're teaching in each grade and each subject and each light unit in detail. Spiritual truths and character traits. So idols comparing the God of heaven to Light unit 105-10. Oh, I hear my toddler. Study words. You could put these on flash, those little index cards from Walmart. You can buy it for like a dollar or two dollars. And these can be spelling words. So this is their study words. Here, she's about to bust in here. I can... Nope, she's going up the stairs. I was like, she's coming. So that's... Okay, that's where you're going to find those study words in like... The Roll of Bread story, I guess, 104-7 light unit. And then there's scripture verses. So you could literally go through here and have your child write out the scripture verses on an index card and they could memorize their scripture verses. Uh, see, so they have alternate light unit tests and the answer's right here. So if your child doesn't do good, you just give them this alternate test. And I think that's it. I hope you liked the video. Please leave a comment if you did. And I'm going to do more flip throughs. So like and subscribe. Check out the other videos because I plan on doing the language arts one. I might do the learning to read flip through. And um, I'm going to be doing a lot of this. I'm going to be doing a video comparing Abeka to this for grade one. Um, math videos, all kinds of stuff. And then here's the books that you could also read with your child. And that's on CLP or rod and staff that you could buy it from. So that tells you where to get the books. All right, have a good day, bye.